Hello and good morning. You're watching Doordarshan News and this is the news for hearing impaired. I am Nancy Kohli and with me is Smriti Nagpal. Let's begin with the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is visiting Meghalaya today. During his visit, the Prime Minister will address North Eastern Council meeting in Shillong. The meeting is to be attended by governors and the chief ministers of the eight northeastern states and deliberate on the overall development of the region. Prime Minister Modi will also release a special cover and a stamp brought out by the Department of Post to mark the 65th NEC plenary session. A short documentary film on the two years progress of the Ministry of Development of the Northeastern Region will also be screened on the occasion. The NEC is the nodal agency of the Ministry of the Development for the Northeastern Region that comprises the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura. On the completion of two years of the Modi government, Bharati Janata Party President Amit Shah, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, Home Minister Rajnath Singh, Health Minister J.P. Nadda, Defence Minister Manohar Parikar and many union ministers and senior BJP leaders will reach out to the people across the country under the Vikas Parv outreach program. Under the month-long Vikas Parv, union ministers and senior BJP leaders will highlight various welfare initiatives of the NDA government. In Jammu and Kashmir, an encounter broke out today between terrorists and security forces in Tangmarg area of Baramulla district. Security forces launched a search operation in Kanchipura village of Tangmarg following information about the presence of two terrorists in the area. The exchange of fire between the two sides began at 6.30 this morning. So far, no casualties have been reported from either side. Earlier, the army had foiled a major infiltration bid at the line of control in the Kupwara district on Thursday. Four terrorists have been killed in the encounter. The other two hiding terrorists have been trapped by the security forces. In West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee will take oath today as the chief minister of the state for a second term. Kolkata Mayor Shawan Chatterjee, former Indian cricketer Lakshmi Ratna Shukla and noted singer Indranil Sen will be among 17 new faces to be sworn in as ministers. In all, 42 people will take oath today. Earlier on Thursday, Mamata Banerjee had met the governor and submitted the list of ministers who will take oath along with her at the ceremony on Red Road in Kolkata. Union ministers Arun Jaitley and Babul Supriyo are likely to represent the centre at the swearing-in ceremony. In Rajasthan, 11 people were killed after a truck rammed into a jeep in Ratsamant district. The incident happened at around 2 in the morning in the wee hours. The injured have been admitted to nearby hospitals there. In big trouble for suspended JDU MLC Manorama Devi, who is accused of defying liquor ban imposed by the Bihar government, a Gaya local court has rejected her bail plea. The Gaya Sessions Court had earlier postponed hearing on her bail application and posted the matter for today. The Gaya Sessions Court had also asked for case diary and local case report from the police. Manorama Devi, who is accused of violating prohibition law, was last week sent to 14 days judicial custody. She is the mother of Rocky Yadav, the main accused in the sensational road rage killing of a 12th class student on the 7th May. And that's all in this edition of the news. Thanks for being with us.